Good morning. Good to see you again. Man, we're already on week three here of English. Day nine, August 17th, if you are uh, keeping up with these day to day. Hey guys, we're on page 71 in our textbook. That's really going to help you. We ended last week with, with plural nouns. And if you remember correctly, we said, and I very purposely put in capital letters, most, most singular nouns to make the plural just add S. Today we're going to have the ES. And to be honest, all this week we're dealing with all these different rules with putting singular nouns and making them plural. There's a lot of them. We're going to take it step by step, but it's not as easy as it was just Friday. We just had an S. Most nouns that happens to, uh, not today. You are going to hear... Uh, let me say again, and I'm going to purposely choose my words carefully because there's a very specific reason you'll find out why tomorrow. But uh, right here, some singular nouns, again, some singular nouns and with a consonant and Y. If there is a consonant and Y, to make it plural, you change the Y to I and add ES. You hear that a lot. Change the Y to I and add ES. In fact, I got chart on it next time. Change the Y to I and add ES. But I want you to be very careful because the reason this is capitalized here is it has to be a consonant in Y. Tomorrow is going to be very different. And you got to differentiate between the two. A consonant, uh, if you remember correctly, is like here. A P or here an N. In both cases, like puppy and penny, you change the Y to I and add ES, just like the kind of rhyme says. I'm, I'm not rhyme, I guess, but the little cheer says. You change the Y to I and add ES. Now, going back to this, the consonants are the letters that are not vowels. I hope I'm not making this more confusing, but it might be easy to figure out what the vowels are first, because there's only five. The five vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. Only five of them. There's always only going to be five of them. Every other consonant, excuse me, every other letter is a consonant. So if you want to sing the alphabet without the vowels, go B, C, D, F, G, H, so on and so forth. You don't have any vowels here when we're just focusing on the consonants in Y. Which is why in this chart here, you can see it would be P-U-P-P-Y. P is a consonant, so therefore you can change the Y to I and add ES. The reason I'm going through that so much is because tomorrow's rule is going to be dealing with vowels, and the rule is not the same. But today, let, let's just focus on this. Change the Y to I and add ES. This, I think, is a better example because it shows you the singular word. And what we're focusing on is the letter right before the Y. If it's a consonant, like this N is here, then you do the rule right down here. Change the Y to I and add ES. Here again, baby, just focus on the letter right before the Y. That's a B. That's a consonant. So therefore, change the Y to I and add ES. As long as the consonant before the Y, that'll always, always, always be the rule. This one I like. Uh, again, if, if you're looking at page 71, it can really help you. But if, if you're forgetting, look at this chart or look back to this video. But every single one, much like last Friday's assignment, is going to have the singular noun in parentheses way in back. You need to write the plural form of that noun on the line. If you get stuck, you can look up here. One bunny, the N, the letter right before the Y is a consonant. So change the Y to I and add ES. A city, look at the letter right before the Y, that's a T, that's a consonant. Follow the rule. Change the Y to I and add ES. And if you're looking at your paper packet, the rule is right here. So just as they did here, you take this singular noun, you change the Y, to I and add ES, write the plural form in the noun. Three exciting story, well it's got should be stories. R is a consonant, you change the Y 
to I and add ES. That's going to be the rule every time down here because you can see every single word that's a singular noun here has a consonant before the Y. So the rules are always going to remain the same for the day. Tomorrow we can wor worry about some extra added rules, but today, change the Y to I and add ES. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Lord's blessings to you as you praise your Savior.